before we start, question. Yeah. Which game was it you think you made a mistake on? That's a good question. I sure I know for a fact it wasn't the coast of the dogs. I know that for a fact. Well, when you told me the other day that you believe that you made some mistakes, I was thinking that you was talking in particularly about the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals. No, not that one either. Mm. I believe that Jaguars is going to win. It's just that Trevor Lawrence just stinks under pressure. They had a two-touchdown lead, yep. but they let Cincinnati slip up, and they end up winning the game in, uh, in, uh, after uh, the field goal. Mm-hmm. My mistake, I felt – was the Saints of the Giants? Should have picked the Giants. Well, let's go over week four records. Just week four by itself before we go into the overall. During you was eight and eight. Bad week. And I'm Bad week. You went down four games. You went down four games from 12 and four for week three to eight and eight. Uh, yeah, it was just th- it was a thawing off week. I'm a little prepared now. Yeah, and for me, I was ten to six this week. Uh, well, ten to six last week, ten to six this week. It really pretty much had no loss or gain. So, uh, but other than that, uh, let's run through real quick. I'm still working on the divisionals. I've not gotten the divisionals yet. Still trying to get that all together. Um, hang on a second here. I need to move some things around because I can't see what I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I think I got an idea. Okay. So, week four. Here it is. Both this... Oh, well, first off, I need to share this damn screen. That would be very nice. All right, disagreement games, Cincinnati Bengals, Jacksonville Jaguars. That was our first disagreement game, and don't pay attention to that. Uh, that's the first disagreement game, Cincinnati Bengals, Jacksonville Jaguars, and then there's Miami Dolphins, Indianapolis Colts games. Um, that was the two disagreement games, the only two disagreement games that we had this week, um, or the previous week anyway, so... Okay. Um, let's see. All right. So the uh, records overall records right there 41 and 23. Daryl, 40 and 24 for me. I'm a game behind you. Uh, you lead overall, though, with a 64% winning percentage. I'm a 62%. Meanwhile, the disagreement games you're seven to six. I am six to seven. You had a 53% winning percentage, and I have a 46% uh, winning percentage. So that's where we stand right now for uh, overall records and the disagreement games for now. Week five predictions. Here we go. You're going to fact check me, right? Yep. I sure will. Okay, here we go. At first, I thought this thing uh, corrupted on me again. I was going to be... <sighs> I know, you put in hard work in it for it to go and just be corrupted. I was going to be mad if that was the case. All right, first game, Thursday night, 820 on Fox, NFL Network, and Amazon. Uh, the Los Angeles Rams and the Seattle Seahawks. This is going to be an interesting game. Daryl, you got I'm crying right now because these are just one of these games <laughs> that I really don't want to predict. Oh, right. my goodness. Uh, but just looking at this, even though that I'm kind of that I'm kind of disappointed in the Rams, 
from uh, the Cardinals last week. I still wasn't surprised, but at the same time, I was still disappointed. But I'm still going to gamble. I'm still going to gamble. I still got the Rams. I agree. I'm picking the Rams. All right, next game, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on NFL Network. It is the London game. The New York Jets and the Atlanta Falcons. Daryl, who you got? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Falcons. You picking the Atlanta Falcons? Atlanta Falcons. Well, this is going to be our first disagreement game. I'm going to go with the Jets. I'm sorry, dude, but you'll regret that one. I'm sorry, I did what now? You're going to regret that one. Well, I mean, you got to think about this. You got Atlanta and the Jets. You're, you're juggling here. It, it don't even matter. These two teams don't play too well anyway. But if I had to pick a team that would play just slightly, not better, just slightly better, it would be the Jets. No. I see Zach Wilson getting five picks. Bad on it. Five picks. Now you reach it. No. Now you are reaching. No. I'm still holding the grudge for when Atlanta blew that Super Bowl lead that they should have been Super Bowl champions on. I'm still, I'm still bitter about that. I'm not knocking you for that. Trust me. Yes, you I'm are. Still- no. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you I'm are. Not, you no. just said it. I, wait a minute. I'm saying I'm not mad at you for that. I don't hold you against that because they uh, didn't win the Super Bowl. But what I am holding you against is the fact that you're going to let a man that's leading the, t- leading the season probably in sessions win the game against the Falcons. The Jets just won their first game last week. It yeah. don't matter about the interceptions. It doesn't matter. If it's that was the case, the Jets, it doesn't matter because if the Jets, if it was more concerned about interceptions in the season, then the Jets wouldn't win any games this season. And they just won their first game, them and the Giants. Okay. All right. Next game, 1 o'clock, Fox, Detroit, Minnesota, NFC North. Girl, who you got? I got the Vikings. That was a gamble for me. I have to thoroughly think this game now and still do. I'm going with the Vikings as well. <clears throat> okay, next game. One o'clock on CBS, the New Orleans Saints and the Washington football team. Daryl, you got? I'm going to go ahead and pick the... Oh, God. Either way, this don't look good for both sides. I'm going to go ahead and just... Throw it out there. I'm just going to pick the Saints. I got the Saints as well. I don't think the Saints defense is going to play well either. At all. Well, I, I don't know about Washington's offense. I mean, I mean uh, Taylor Henning can, 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 can throw the football. Mm-hmm. Uh, he could get it out of the pocket pretty fast, but I don't know. I, I just think that uh, New Orleans got the better offensive line will probably save them the game. Next game, 1 o'clock on CBS, New England Patriots, Houston, Texas. Daryl, you got? This is another one. But if it was my choice, I only know Tyrod Taylor is even coming back at this point. Right. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Patriots. I'm picking them as well. Oops. All right, next game. One o'clock on Fox, the, the Green Bay Packers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Do who you got? I got the Packers. Got them as well. I was still <clears throat> impressive with them beating Green Bay last week. Not Green Bay, uh, Pittsburgh. Well, I mean, Ben Roethlisberger really didn't. I mean, it, Ben Roethlisberger just been concerning me pretty much all season long. He's raining down. He's getting injured. And Mike Tyler still believes that Ben Roethlisberger is still the man. And yeah, he very well, a, he very well may be, but you know, right now it's just not showing. No. Next game, one o'clock on Fox. The different Broncos and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Which speaks, Joe? Who you got? As we all know, when Teddy Bridgewater got kicked out of the game with that concussion, they was not the same. They weren't and even. They were not supposed to lose that game. No, they wasn't. They were supposed to have won that game. If Teddy Bridgewater didn't get hurt and got that concussion, Denver would have won this game. They'd be four and zero. Mm-hmm. So, I'm still playing this by ear, and I'm still going to pick the Broncos anyway. Just in case if Bridgewater comes back. That's a good move. That's a good move. That's a good move. But I'm going to go ahead and disagree with it and go with Pittsburgh. All right. All right, uh, next game, 1 o'clock on Fox. The Philadelphia <coughs> Carolina Panthers. Joe, who you got? I got the Panthers. So do I. Uh, next game, one o'clock on CBS, AFC South, Jacksonville, Tennessee. Throw you got Tennessee. I'm going with Tennessee as well. <clears throat> All right. Uh, next game, uh, four zero five on CBS, the Cleveland Browns and the Los Angeles Chargers. This game. Oh, this is gonna be a good game. This Hold game on. took me a minute. Hold on. I got Darryl, to look at this again. Daryl, who you got? Uh, I got to look at this again. I, I got to look at some pinpoints here before I even pick who I, I want to pick. But mm-hmm. I already got a good idea who I want. Uh, uh, yeah, me too, but I have to confirm this. Right. Because Cleveland is playing good football. So is Los Angeles. Yes. Sorry. They're playing it. Yeah. Both sides of the ball are playing pretty good. Except the fact that the Chargers run defense is not so well. But you can't knock that, especially if you're still winning football games. So at the end of it, I got the Chargers. Um, I agree. I'm going to Chargers. 
I like what Justin Herbert is doing. Mm-hmm. I agree. Damn. Kind of for life. All right. Uh, next game. Uh, uh, 405 on CBS. The Chicago Bears and the Las Vegas Raiders. Throw what you got. Well, the Bears went to last week. The Bears won to the Lions, their uh, NC North rival. Division rival. What was the score to that game? Uh, 24 to 14. 24 to 14. Okay. The reason why I'm asking is because I don't want to pick the Raiders. I mm-hmm. really don't. Mm-hmm. But, and I'm still not going to go for them. I'm picking the Bears. All right. There's our other disagreement game. I'm going with the Raiders. All right, next game, 425 on Fox. The New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. NFC East, throw who you got? Cowboys. Check. Got Dallas as well. Update this here. Next week starts the uh, uh, bye weeks, right? I think so. We can find that out real quick. Yeah, we can find that out real quick. If. Yep, sure do. Next week. It's uh, Atlanta. Yep, Atlanta, New Orleans, uh, the Jets, and San Francisco. Okay. All right. Uh, Next game. Uh, Saturday Night Football, 820 on NBC, the Buffalo Bills has to be cheap. Oh, this is going to be another good one. I got the Bills. Well, there's our other disagreement game. Going with the Chiefs. I'm still kind of mad at the Chiefs for <laughs> losing to the Chargers anyway. So. <laughs> That's the AFC Quest division. I don't give a damn what it was. I don't give a damn what it was. The Chiefs supposed to own the AFC West. Now you got Denver, which is good. And then you got Los Angeles. That's up there down in the AFC West. Man, Kansas City is down last place. They own them. No. I'm mad at that. Shit happens. (laughs) Yep, it sure does. Yeah, and lastly but not least, the Monday night game. Baltimore Ravens. I was just about to say this should be the easiest one right here. Uh 8-15 on the SBN, the Indianapolis Colts and the Baltimore Ravens. No need to explain anymore, Daryl. Nope. I agree. I am going with Baltimore. Baltimore. Let me tell you, it may be petty as hell, but it's just gonna be dead honest about it. Baltimore fans are still shitty. At Indianapolis, I know. because they'd have moved Ooh, over 30 man. years ago. Oh, Lord. And, and, <laughs> and even though the coach has owned they the still sh- They still show it, too. Yeah, they do. They show it. Every time Indy comes to Baltimore, they really let them have it. They are not happy with it. Like, mm-hmm. whereas anybody that you should be happy with is the Ursets. Right. That's who you really should be upset with. You shouldn't be upset with everybody else. Because of that fact, you should be upset with Thursdays. Yeah, I agree. Now, uh, before we get out of here, Daryl, 
I was trying to find something. I have been trying to find it now for the last uh, 10 minutes here, and I, and I really can't find it. And I'm hoping to see this because I've seen it this morning while I was at the gym working now. Um, I was at the gym and I seen. Uh, I had seen a, uh, a a piece of information that I wanted to share, and I tried to memorize it the best way I could in that little bit of time that I was able to see it. But I may have to paraphrase it in my own words if I cannot find it on here. But I seriously doubt that they even put it on here. Oh, I wish they did. <clears throat> I, I honestly don't think they did. And that's going to epic kill me. Okay, so I don't see it, and I share it again tomorrow on the podcast if I uh, actually do find it. Mm-hmm. But here is a. Let me see if it's on here. Really, really quick, because I doubt it. Nope. Okay, so let me share this real quick. <laughs> And I will try to paraphrase it the best way, the way ESPN did it. And I think it was very hilarious when they said this. Okay. But it's the truth. But it's the truth. As we all know, Arizona is the last undefeated team in the NFL, correct? Correct. The last team to have done this undefeated record and make a playoff game and win the Super Bowl was the 2006 Indianapolis Colts. No other undefeated team that has went undefeated before they lost their first either never went to the playoffs or never went to the Super Bowl. Damn. That's not good. That don't look good. Hence, point taken, Pittsburgh Steelers just last season. They made it to the playoffs but didn't make it to the Super Bowl. Mm Mm-hmm. That don't look good. It don't look good. That's, how, don't that's look- how you know the Colts were the team. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. the Patriots. The Colts. the Colts. They were the last undefeated team in the NFL, and they were the only team that won the Super Bowl that year when they went under when they were undefeated before they lost their first game. What was now, it? That was what? Seven and oh? I don't know. Um they might have done it though. But I think oh, New man. England, New England didn't snap their um, New England didn't snap their uh, 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 losing streak. They didn't snap their losing streak. Now that you make that was that after happen. they won the Super Bowl, though, right? Huh? That was after the Colts won the Super Bowl when New England did that. I'm about to look now. I got it pulled up right here. So they went. No, they went nine and zero. They went nine and zero before they lost their first game. Believe it or not, to the Dallas Cowboys. That's right. They lost 24-14. Uh-uh, 21-14. 21? Oh, okay. 21-14. And then they won to Philadelphia, and they lost their next two to ASC South, Tennessee, and Jacksonville. Came back and won against Cincinnati, lost against Houston, and then won against Miami. And then they went on to win the Super Bowl, beat Kansas City. Beat Baltimore, beat the Patriots, and then beat the Bears. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, they played New England that year too, and they won 27 to 20 down in New England. They played the AFC East, the NFC East, and of course, like normal, the AFC West. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, the AFC uh, South. They just happened to play just one team from uh, the AFC North, which was Cincinnati, mm-hmm. one team for the AFC West, which was Denver. That's it. Oh, wow. That's it. Because that was the year that they opened up the Manning Bowl, went down to New York, and the Colts beat them 26 and 21. I'm going to have a story for the podcast tomorrow. I had thought about that and I'd forgotten that it happened. So I'm going to share a story tomorrow. 
<laughs> Do I really want to hear it? Yes and no. Yes, yes to the fact of what the story is going to be about, but no to the fact that it's not going to be anything related to family or, or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I got to share this story because it catches my attention every single time and I've forgotten all about it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to share it tomorrow. I'm going to share it. All right. So <laughs> tune in to tomorrow's podcast. You'll find out what that story is. Meanwhile, this is our predictions. This is our week uh, week five predictions for uh, the the NFL. Catch us next week for week six of the NFL.